I really don't think I'm the most confident person about myself, but I can be confident in an idea and achieve it and go for it. I think that self-belief is a tricky thing for me. I mean, I tend to not be terribly confident about the things that I set out to do. Somehow I pull it from the deepest part of me and, and tend to deliver, but I still will always question myself for some reason. I mean, certainly to come and edit Vogue when I'd never worked in the fashion industry before. I don't remember it now, but that must have, something must have made me think, well, it doesn't matter that you don't know anything. You're going to be able to do it. And the difference between the critic and me is I really believe in what I do and they don't believe in what I do, so it doesn't matter what they say. I come from a working class background, I'm state school educated, I didn't go to university, so there's always been this little voice in the back of my head that said, what are you doing here, what do you think you're doing, you're going to be found out. And I think I've only silenced that small voice in the last couple of years. I wasn't confident, but I wasn't aware of my limitations, if that isn't a paradox in itself, because there weren't that many women who were running companies, there weren't that many women I could go to for advice. So there was just the assumption that, that there was a problem and I had to solve it. In my life, so many people said, no, you can't do that. No, you can't go to university. You haven't got any A-levels, no levels. No, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. And I just thought, well, it's the only person telling me that I can't is them. If I think I can do this, I'll go and do it. And everything in my life that I've wanted to do, I've achieved. I wouldn't say that success comes really easy for me, but I would say that obsession become, is very easy, like it's something that I, I am. So if I'm doing something, I become quite obsessed with getting it right and doing it. I think I've always felt uh, that there was something quite exciting about taking risks. Uh, and there's a great saying, actually, that you only learn when you are at risk. And I'm fascinated by both risk and learning. So that has led me to take jobs that people would think, you can't do that, that's just impossible. I go, no, it won't be. I think women are told that ambition is not an attractive quality uh, and doesn't relate to being feminine. And I think that's garbage and, and unhealthy to even encourage in young people the idea that ambition is something to be wary of. So I have a Jewish background and was born in Germany with at a time of horrendous discrimination. And it's not good for a child's self-worth to, or feeling of self-worth, to know that people are trying to, to kill you. And I found that the trauma of my childhood left me with some very strong values, which are as strong today as 75 years ago. And um, that is to realize that tomorrow is not going to be like today and certainly not like yesterday. Um, to realise that the life that was saved, I had, to, I had to make it worth saving. My mother was very risk averse. And so any time I wanted to do anything entrepreneurial, she would tell me 101 reasons why I shouldn't do it. And so for a while I used to listen to her as any good daughter should do. <laughs> And then after a while I realised, well, this is my life, actually. And even though my mother was my biggest role model, her life is not what I aspire to have. And so I realised if I wanted to be anywhere I need, and to make a difference, I needed to take risks. And sometimes they would work and sometimes they wouldn't. <laughs>